Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Being alive with you, do you realize this is a phenomenal that we are here, we are present, and we are together? Just being grateful for this very moment and being here to be able to see, to be able to hear, to be able to even log on because so many are not allowed to or have the means to. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist, and I want to say today it's all about feeling grateful and uh, just being present. Hello and welcome. It's so good to have you. Today's message is going to be about the things we hold on to and how it affects us, especially uh, energetically, emotionally. And yes, we're going to be talking about how it creates this sense of heaviness upon us. Why? Because I have a workshop coming up in uh, end of this month, January 31. Actually, it's exactly next Tuesday at uh, 6 p.m. here in my office. And it's a small little group get together and it's called hypnosis for emotional weight. So why is it that I am talking about emotional weight? You know, I bet you, you have set your goals for a new year. So many say, I'm going to go to the gym. This year is going to be the year. Uh, my resolution is to lose so much weight. This is, I'm going to go on a diet, I'm doing a fasting, I'm doing a cleanse. And so, so many different ways to lose weight, right? First and foremost, I educate everyone on words, words that, that are either disempowering you or empowering you. Losing is one of the words that literally all the diet industry works on to help you lose weight because they know once you lose it psychologically and your subconscious because it has held on to it for a reason a good reason even if it is negative it's a good reason it's going to go find it and bring it back Believe it or not, losing in itself is a such a dispowering word and it's a loss. It feels bad and you will do everything to bring it back. So that's why the yo-yo weight happens. You lose it, you gain it. You lose it, you gain it. And throughout, unless you have this new lifestyle and regimen physically, mentally, and yes, mindset reset emotionally. So my uh, group hypnosis is called hypnosis for emotional weight so that you can do that internal reset mindset, tap into your subconscious, learn powerful words that empower you consciously and subconsciously in order for you to maintain from reaching first you reach your desired goal and then maintain it so that's what it's going to be and so someone says what is an emotional weight allow me to share a story a while ago i had a client who came in for weight loss and yes she wanted to lose weight so one of the first things we learned was you are going to shed weight, peel away extra weight, or just simply drop the weight. My audio recordings are all about drop weight. And 
Mindset Reset. So through our sessions, on our third session, as we are working and doing the hypnosis, um, we start peeling away reasons of why the yo-yo, weight loss, gain, gain, lose. So as we are going back in time, which is one of the methods called timeline therapy, um, she started crying. And as she's crying, she's sharing all the things that have become burdensome and heavy. Uh, we peel away a lot of guilt and shame and burdens, things that have been placed upon us, expectations, and that it's heavy. And it weighs a lot on you. Because one of my biggest things is it's not so much about what you weigh, but what's weighing upon you, what's weighing on you, that it's heavy. It's a heavy load. Sometimes we take on um, ex other people's expectations. We take on tasks that to do. And if you have been one of them, just think about it. Did you say yes to something that you wanted because someone asked you to? And even if you didn't have time for it, you said yes to? Did you take on a burden or a family member sick or expectations that is weighing down upon you and you feel overwhelmed, over anxious, undervalued? See, that is what weighs upon you. And when it starts weighing upon you, you have to pack it on in order for you to be able to handle it. It's either lifting someone, it's taking care of something, and that you pack it on. You pack it on without realizing. And the body will take a brunt of it. And next thing you know, it's about seven pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, even 30 pounds on you in order for you to lift all that burden and the weight. So, and then you wonder what happened to you. And you turn around and say, I don't understand it. When did I gain so much weight? And because you start resenting it, this is what happened to my client. She started packing it on and eating more just to numb her feelings. So her thing was, since I'm already gained weight, might as well shove the rest in because no one is going to hear me. No one can do anything about it. It's all on me. I'm already stressed out. So leave me alone. Let me be. And as we started peeling away layers and layers, this is throughout each session, one of the biggest things that she had not even realized was her guilt and shame. That is one of the heaviest loads some of us carry without realizing, especially women. If it is incest, if it is being molested, rape, um, and hers was an abortion. It weighed so heavily on her that it happened over 15 years ago that she didn't realize there is a part of her that she is still carrying. It's as if her body still wanted that baby, but because of other people, what they would say, and if it was because it was out of wedlock, because it felt shame, all that was still packed deeply rooted inside. And until the time we didn't 
do this deep work, peeling away those emotional layers, she didn't recognize that she was still holding on to that. She thought she got over it because consciously she did. But the body had not let go yet. Her emotional connection to that had not let go yet. So what is it that we do? Through my 3E method, my signature method, we do the evoking. We evoke what was. It's going back in time to bring forth, bring to surface, to recognize what is it that we're holding on to? What is it that you believe that story to be reality? And frankly, is it still true? Is that story true today? Is it still true for what you are holding on to? And she recognized, once she recognized it, she was ready to let it go, asking the body to begin the healing process. And that's called the embracing. See, it took three sessions to get to that level because you can't just get in there and just probe, even through hypnosis. Some get to that, just like stop smoking, I've had clients in second session, they became a non-smoker and it can happen. Yes, it's true, but it's not the magic pill. Even though everybody thinks that there is this magic pill, it is sometimes a placebo. So by recognizing it after three sessions, getting there, now we're getting to the part of embracing. So there is so much to embrace, embrace who she is, embrace what happened, embrace her body, embrace all the emotions connected to what occurred, realizing it is not true at this very moment, and then come to embrace her life today. And once the embracing happens, then she can start evolving to what her desired goal is to drop the weight and embrace the body image that she now wants and desires. So now the body is starting to work with her because you can't just shove it. You can't just push it. You can't expect it. You, you, you can do all the exercises four hours a day, three times a week and still do all the diet and everything and then go in a funk, in a depression, and then start all over. That yo-yo aspect of the emotional disconnect is what I work with my clients. That's why I say stand up to slim down. My book is all about that. My course coming out is about that. The audio recording is about that. It's about dropping weight because it works not only with your conscious as you listen, that audio recording, especially my exercise one, is three layers. Then it works with your conscious as you are walking and running and exercising. Another layer that your subliminal messages is happening. And then the music that it works and pumps you into that exercise. So not realizing there is three levels of everything because music, when it's right, working with the heart, with the, with the body and making you joyful, wanting to do more of that, that's powerful. And yes, you can find it on my shop. So understand that peeling away the layers that you put upon yourself for self-preservation, self-protection is what I work with. That's how we get to heal within. Thus the name. Um, hello, beautiful. Hi, Kim. Hello, gorgeous. My sweetheart, so long. I haven't seen you. I'm so glad you are here. And yes, you understand this more than anything. Just working with that mind factor and knowing that 
Functional medicine is so powerful. Hypnotherapy is so powerful in giving our clients exactly what it needs physically, mentally, emotionally, and yes, psychologically. So good to have you here. And everyone that is on here, if you are here, thank you for being uh, absolutely yes. And if you are watching this uh, on a replay, just uh, hashtag replay so I know. And uh, every week I come live with a message of Heal Talk. And again, I'm having a small little workshop uh, next January 31 here in my office and every month at the end of the month every the last Tuesday of the month we are going to have a workshop if you are anywhere in the LA area uh, it behooves you to sign up and come in you learn about word association you learn about hypnosis you learn how to do self hypnosis and you learn uh, you are with a group and it becomes so powerful when you work together in a group. You find your own niche and support one another. Again, uh, DM me if you want to join in. Uh, links will be in the description. That's right. Thank you so much for my assistant who's always there, Adrian, supporting and being here. We've got so much that we are going to be bringing for you to empower you physically, mentally, emotionally. Our courses are coming. Our books are coming. And if, if you haven't yet, I want you to know that the events that I am going to put together quarterly, there is going to be a small little event that is going to happen locally until our big 3E event that we come together with more powerful speakers and everything. So we are here to support you so you can heal within and you rise to your own occasions and set your goals and achieve them. Because my mission is for you to stand up, show up, speak up, because you matter. So, as I said, I'm on a mission. Um, I put a post there. They asked me, what is it that I do? Uh, what is it? What is it that I do as not only as a clinical hypnotherapist, but the work that I do? And this is exactly what I said. I repeat that um, my mission is to help eradicate self-doubt and boost self-esteem. Because if you don't believe in yourself, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, if you don't believe in yourself, it's the belief system within you. Yes, you can turn around and say, that's my BS. And know that it's your belief system. So once you believe you can, therefore you will. Do you get that? Believe in yourself and know that you matter. Boost your self-esteem. Your confidence is knowing that you can, but the self-esteem is the belief within yourself. Okay? It's the worth and the value you give to you for your body, for your life, for your family, for who you are, not what you look like or what you have. So today's message is going to be very short and very poignant. My workshop, my small little group, it's hypnosis for emotional weight. Join me and learn how to empower yourself and your body and know that you can. Let's start peeling away all the things that it's no longer worthy of you, which is called the shame, the blame, all the negativity, all the burdens, and the things that overwhelm you. Okay? So, thank you for being present, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Next week is going to be special for me and you will know why because next Tuesday we are celebrating truly celebrating and so until next week I bid you goodbye
and have a wonderful, wonderful week. God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. Click, subscribe, join. Bye, Kim. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.